Hey everyone, welcome back to Epic Tomorrows, where I am making critical connections for a post-authoritarian and anti-authoritarian world. It is now my great pleasure to welcome Mursal Sayas, who is a writer, feminist, and activist from Afghanistan. She worked for the Independent Human Rights Commission in Afghanistan and left soon after the Taliban regained power in 2021, uh, after which she settled in France. Marcel Sayas recently published her first book titled Qui entendre no cri? This is in French, translated as Who Will Hear Our Cries? Ten Testimonies from the Women of Afghanistan, documenting the lives of ten women who have suffered terrible, terrible hardships at the hands of a rigidly patriarchal culture. So first of all, thanks so much for joining us today, for joining me today. And um, could you explain how and why you came to collect the testimonies for your recent book? And why did you decide to publish this book? Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Well, uh, the book Qui entendra nos cris is um, a collection of uh, 10 stories of the victim of uh, domestic violence in Afghanistan. I collected the stories while I was working with Afghanistan Human Rights Com Afghanistan Independent Human Rights Commission since 2017 and the day I left Afghanistan. I met those women in shelters, prisons, hospitals, and other places that their rights might be violent, uh, violated in Afghanistan. And also they were coming to Human Rights Commission for seeking AIDS and to receive help and support from us um, while we were working with the Human Rights Commission. That's how I uh, collected the stories, but how and why I thought about publishing this book uh, while I left Afghanistan, I brought nothing with myself, just my computer and a hard disk. So that was uh, when I arrived here, I was I had always this feeling of being guilty for leaving Afghanistan behind, for leaving those women behind. And also I was thinking to do something for them. And there was the thing that occurred in my mind. And I thought, OK, this is the opportunity and this is what I can do. Now I'm alone here. Now I left everyone behind, my family, my children, my life, my nostalgia, everything behind. But how can I survive? Well, I could survive by doing something back for the country. For me, why these stories are important, because I really want to emphasize on this part uh, for international community. All those horrible stories happened in Afghanistan under a so-called democratic country when all these international community were there, United Nations was there, Human yeah. Rights Commission was there, all other institutes or organizations to help and support the women in a free country under the, like, as I said before, equal law and the best law in the region. Like, uh, if we um, compare it to Iran, to Pakistan or India, we had good law or equal law for the women, at least, and the men. But all those things were happening there. Just then I emphasize this on all of my interviews. What do you think? What is happening right now? Right now, there is nothing. There is only the Taliban, only their power, and only um, like the women are in the hand of a terrorist group. This yeah. is why we are fighting this um, gender apartheid. And we are trying to recognize this as a gender apartheid because, yeah, it is. These things happened before the Taliban. Just imagine right now what is happening there. 